Hi, I'm Tyson. Today I'm going to show you how to make this box, which measures 29 inches by 6 inches by 2 inches. Very fast, very easy, very cheap. To make this box, you're going to need a piece of cardboard that measures 18 inches by 33 inches. You're going to need a metal straight edge with measurements. You're going to need a marker and a box cutter or utility knife with a fresh sharp blade on it. We're going to start with the piece of cardboard laid uh, out like in this direction. If you're facing it, it'll be landscape direction. Go ahead and place your straight edge at the bottom, at your bottom left hand corner. Get your sharpie and you're going to make two marks on the cardboard. You're going to do a mark at two inches and a mark at 31 inches. Move your straight edge to the top and do the same thing. Mark at 2 inches, mark at 31 inches. Now you're going to place your straight edge along the two 2 inch marks that you made. So you can barely see those marks against your straight edge and you're going to connect them with a solid line. So as you see that line I made all the way across the piece of cardboard. Go over to your 31 inch mark and do the exact same thing. Place your straight edge along those two marks. And let's see if I can get that straight. Make a solid line. Next, place your straight edge again against one of the solid lines. And you're going to be making four marks along that solid line. You're going to do a mark at two, in, two inches, eight inches, ten inches, and sixteen inches. So here you can see the four marks I made. Go to your other solid line and do the exact same thing. Two inches, eight inches, ten inches, sixteen inches. <clears throat> Next, put your straight edge perpendicular to the solid lines you made and line it up with a set of those marks. So I'm going to start with these bottom two marks. And we're going to get our box cutter knife and we're going to score all the way along that line. And then we're going to cut on the outside of the solid line and do the same thing on this side. Cut right there. So we have cuts going all the way through on the outside of the two solid lines. And we have a score running all the way along the center of the two lines. Repeat that same process on the other three sets of marks that we made. Line your straight edge up again with the, one of the solid lines you made. And you're going to do a score all the way along that solid line. Now, you'll see if you look close, there's three tabs that we've made. One, two, three. And if you did this right, they should be perfectly square. Those three tabs are going to be cut off. So we're going to cut off the first one. Cut off the second one, cut off the third one, and repeat that process on this side. Score all the way across, cut, cut. 
cut, cut, allowing us to pop off these three tabs. Next, you're going to take your cut out piece of cardboard and lay it on a flat surface. I like to use my crafting countertop right here. Uh, make sure that you have the side with the scoring and the black marks you made facing up because that's going to be the inside of our box. So now that we have this facing up, we can start folding along the scores we've made. And sometimes it helps if you fold out first and then fold in. Which makes it a little, little easier to get those folds across. I'm going to do that with all of them. I'm going to fold them out first. Now I'm going to fold them in. Okay, now that we've folded all of the scores in and made our edges for the box, I'm just going to go ahead and tape each of these edges up. I just use kind of like the, this first part doesn't have to be really strong tape. One corner. Two. So the face, of, the face of our box is complete, and you're ready to go ahead and put inside whatever you'll be packaging. I went ahead and I packed some styrofoam in around these handles just to keep them from moving around while they're in shipment. Next I'm going to close up the box, and I'm going to put a few more pieces of scotch tape along here to hold this box shut so I can put some long pieces of tape around it. Alright, see how I have these little pieces of tape holding it down? That's going to make it a lot easier for me to do a final tape on these three edges. Okay, let's go ahead and do the final taping. Just double check the measurements and how long my tape needs to be. Okay, hey, here's our completed box. As you can see, it looks great. Nice straight edges. It looks really professional. And as you can see in my video, it really isn't that hard to make. Maybe take 10 minutes out of your day to make it, but it can save you a lot of hassle in trying to find the right size box, or maybe you just want to make a box for cheap. Thanks for watching. Be sure to view my other videos.